I'm joined now by Dame Melanie Dawes, Chief Executive of Ofcom. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. So, so before we talk about this facial recognition, can we talk about the kinds of damage being done to children who are watching pornography from an incredibly young age? Absolutely. Look, we know from uh, our research and from the Children's Commissioner as well that the average age that children find pornography online is 13. Yes. One in 10, 10 uh, nine-year-olds are actually finding it. And we find that by the time they re reach 18, uh, an awful lot of children have actually seen really violent and nasty porn as well. So this is something we've got to tackle. And that's why we're setting out proposals today uh, for the sort of measures that we think the companies need to put in. And let's imagine you have a nine-year-old who, for whatever reason or by whatever means, accesses porn that is pretty hardcore mm. on a phone or on a device. The sorts of effects that that can have on a nine-year-old. I mean, I, mm. I've taken calls on this subject for years mm. and, and, and I've had parents saying, you know, my nine-year-old saw this kind of, you know, sex, very highly explicit sex, and was utterly confused and didn't know how to tell us because our nine-year-old didn't even have the words or vocabulary to explain what was happening and was also obviously slightly excited by it, but also absolutely horrified and terrified, but was only nine years old, didn't know how to process it. We didn't know how to help our child through this. You know, that kind of level of kind of extreme shock and reaction to exposure to pornography so easily on a phone or device and then it has a knock-on effect for years. Absolutely, it can affect relationships later in life. What kids say sometimes is that they were confused, they were grossed out. Um, I've seen some children say, but actually also some of them actually feel really guilty. Yes. And they don't ask anybody about it and then they can get addicted and by then they're into a really difficult spiral. So we have to do something about this and our parliament has passed new laws which we're taking forward mm -hmm. to make sure that there is highly effective age checks now for aged 18, just to stop kids from seeing pornography, not at all to get in the way of adults. Right, so how would it work? Let's imagine you're 12 years old and you have a phone and you fancy just typing in porn or some other word, <laughs> yeah. and you're 12, you're not supposed to be doing it, but there you are, no one's watching you and you're doing it. How will this stop you watching it? Well, what we're suggesting, and we're setting out a whole range of different possible solutions, there's not one size fits all here, but basically what we're asking the porn companies to do is to put in some kind of system so that if you are an adult user, you can only get onto the site if you can have your age verified. Now that can be through, for example, a banking app, which can do yes or no, is this person over 18? And they can do that without sharing any data, which is really important. But you can also, as you were saying in your introduction, there's new technology that just scans your image and again, does an estimation of your age. And that isn't 100% accurate, but it's pretty accurate and it can be part of the solution for some websites. And, and what we said at the beginning of this item was, you know, that the argument against this, or one of the arguments against this, is that the data could be leaked and do immeasurable harm. Mm. But I would wonder how much it would affect anyone's reputation or impugn their employability or any other thing if they were exposed as people who watch pornography, because I would imagine it's so normalised in our society, there'd be no stigma attached at all. You were very quick to say, and of course, if you're 18, it wouldn't stop you. Mm -hmm. Of course, you could carry on watching porn. You're not saying, and of course, it'd be much better if you didn't watch porn mm -hmm. as an adult. No one would dare to say that, even if they thought that these days. So, so what if it leaked? Well, look, it's just incredibly important that, that the industry now needs to act and introduce these systems, but they must do so in a way that preserves privacy and doesn't share data that shouldn't be shared. And as I said, actually, increasingly, the good thing is the technology is getting better all the time. And it means that there are ways, increasingly, that you can actually find somewhere where your age has already been verified mm -hmm. for your banking app or for one of these digital identity wallets, which is increasingly available. They know Yes, no, are you over 18? And all they have to do is answer that question without saying who you are, your date of birth, where you live, anything like that. So those sorts of systems are there, but it must preserve privacy or else it's just not going to work. And I think lots of us are from the generation of the fake ID. And mm -hmm. I suppose people will be thinking, yeah, yeah, you know, any sort of savvy seven-year-old will be able to find their way around that within minutes. They'll be able to somehow mm -hmm. take a picture of their dad's ID or their mum's, or they'll be able to just fake it somehow or other. Mm -hmm. Will you be able to ring fence it and make sure that even the brightest child won't be able to, to run rings around it? 
Well, look, I think you can never have any solution that's a silver bullet and is completely foolproof. There will be some young people, maybe with the help of their older siblings, who will find their way around this. That's always going to be the case. And of course, for parents, having those conversations with their kids can be a way to try to prevent that happening, although it is hard. Mm. Um, but what I think what we, you know, what we're proposing will do is make it a lot harder. And we know that most children who come across porn online for the first time have stumbled across it by accident. And that won't be possible if the sort of system Systems that we're recommending are actually put in place. And are the porn comp companies amenable so far? Are they taking you seriously? Well, this is a $6 million question, of course. Yes. It's a big industry. It's the biggest internet industry there is, by the way. It's actually got the biggest revenue of all. They are investing in this. They're very professional. And I think they do know that the time has come when age verification just has to be something that is really, you know, part of the terms of doing business now for them. Because I don't think anyone can say that where we are with young people and pornography is actually acceptable. Jane Millie Dawes, really thank you. Great pleasure thank having you. you in the studio and very good to meet you.